welcome here to Who Get Chat. So before we head on to our content for today, please don't forget to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell to get notified when we are posting a video. And also, please don't forget to follow them on all social media accounts. They have Facebook, Instagram, and others. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips, some products, equipments, gadgets that I use for live streaming. So I am a singer in a live streaming app, so definitely I'll be sharing some microphones that I used, um, sound cards. But if you guys are podcasting or you want just to be a DJ or just talk with your viewers using a high quality sound, um, you can also use this kind of mic. So without further ado, let's get started. If you really want to start live streaming, the first thing that you must have is a mobile phone. So you guys can already start um, streaming using a mobile phone. And if you are a singer, I suggest that you guys should use an earphone if you have any, just to have much clearer sound. And also if you want to play a music, you can use your laptop or you can use your phone and then just Bluetooth speaker. I started with a phone, with an earphone, and then a spare phone. So yeah, I just used that for live streaming before. But of course, for you to have um, more viewers, you have to invest in equipments, in music equipments. Specifically, audio quality. You have to improve your audio quality if you want clearer sounds, um, better better sounds and if you want to use some samplers like the haha -ha sounds the what else clap and many more you can use these products so let's proceed the first product that i'll be sharing with you guys is my dynamic microphone so i've been using this for months now i think six to eight months yeah around six to eight months i've been using this this is the Sennheiser XS1. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just lightweight. I can use this every day and I can hold this every day on my live streaming for I think three hours or more because it's just lightweight. It's not too heavy. And I really love the sound quality of this microphone. So this. This is a must-have. The next equipment that I'll be sharing with you is another kind of microphone. So this one is a condenser microphone that you can use for live streaming and also for recording. So I'll recommend this Blue Amber microphone. So this one is a gift for me. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, this one is a gift. And this is what it looks like. It's so slim and also lightweight. And I love this because it's not really that loud. What do you call this? Um, not too sensitive, unlike the other condenser microphone that I used before. So yeah, if you want to invest in condenser microphones, this one is a good buy. The next gadget or the next equipment that i'll be sharing is what i bought during my newbie days so this is actually the second sound card that i bought um the first one is the v8 and then it it got broken after a couple of months and then i jumped onto this i'm not regretting buying this so yeah i think it's a must have there are pros and cons about this product. The pros are it's um, it's small. You can bring it anywhere. The sound quality is great. There are samplers here like laps. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> and there are volumes here for monitor and for the microphone. But the cons about this product is um, it doesn't have a reverb uh, controller. 
and also echo control. So you cannot control the echo, but it has sound effects. Uh, it has different effects for microphone. So you have um, the normal one, like just a plain microphone without any echoes. And what else? It has a karaoke. Um, I don't know what the, what are the others. A chipmunk's voice that yeah, you can use it for your content also. So yeah, there are pros and cons about this product. But for me, it's still a great experience having this signature with me. Up until now, I can use it in my life. The next equipment that I'll be sharing with you guys is uh, this K3 Plus Sound Cluster. This was recommended to me by my friend at the Zindi. Yeah, she said that this is a great um, investment for for live streaming and also for recording. This has bass and treble controller, um, and also it has phantom power, which the signature doesn't have. So that's another con for the signature. It doesn't have phantom power for you to use your condenser microphones. So this one has, I can use my condenser microphone here. And it has also sound soundboard effects like entrance, cheers, baby, baby laugh and laughter, gunshots, crow, and it has reverb select off room, hell, plate, stadium, concert, cars, reverb plus delay, echo, and cathedral. So it has a lot of effects also. And you can also monitor. Yeah, it has monitor here. You can you can click this if you want to monitor it on your earphones or headphones. And what else? It has something for uh, the instruments and then for the microphones. You can use XLR or the, what do you call this? 2.5. So you have here for earphones, for monitor, headphones or earphones will do. You just have to have this kind of adapter. And then for the music, you can connect your music here using this, this cord. And this one will be for your phone. This one, this, 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 this. Yeah. So I have this. If you are using iPhone, you must have this kind of um, adapter too for you to be able to charge it while you are going live. <laughs> Alright. The pros for the Sound Blaster is it has phantom power which you can use for the condenser microphones. It has a lot of effects. It has a um, controller and it has bass treble. What else? Mm, the sound quality is great. Like, it's actually close to a mixer. Almost a mixer for me. Um, the quality is indeed really good. I just bought this on Lazada. Yeah. So this is what I use. It's a good buy. It's, it's cheap. It's not too expensive, but it gives you good quality of sound and you can monitor it well. If I want to use a headphone, I also have this. Another gift. Yes, another gift. So this one is a Sony Dynamic Stereo Headphones MDR7506 Professional. So I use this most of the time when I am um, doing my covers. So I use this for covers and also sometimes for live streaming. I also use this. So that's it for my video. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any other questions about this products where I bought it, I'll be happy to, to read all your comments down below. And also, please don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe on Hubian Talents YouTube channel. And also, please don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts. Thank you so much. This is Kat. Spread love, not hate. Mwah.